let's roll. Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes it and today I'm going to do an episode. 55. Hello everyone who's clicking and watching. Thank you very much for returning viewers. You my greatest. That's my neighbor. He has a motorbike. And for those who are clicking for the first time, I hope you find something that you enjoy. This video on this channel is a little bit longer one and I'm chit-chatting here and there about knitting, about my finished objects, about my work in progress, about knitting, about yarn, about places that I went to and so on and so on. So have some nice drinking thing. I know it's fancy, isn't it? And enjoy! Other than that, if you're here for the first time, also check my channel and check my playlist. You will find over there playlists for hats, playlists for socks, playlists for toys, playlists for garments and some vlogs and some counties. Basically, we like to travel a bit and as far as we can go at the moment would be Ireland because we are based in Ireland. And if you're interested to visit this place, you can go and have a peek. Where did we go for the last two years, I think? Do I put vlogs for two years? Anyway, a few bits you find few bits over there anyway. Other than that, if you do not want to listen to everything, go down below, check the links, you can find me on social media and I will tell you to go and why why. And also you find a timestamps over there so you can skip sections, the ones that you don't want to listen to. And during those timestamps, I'll try to do some kind of show notes there too. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if I'm missing anything that you would be, you think that would be beneficial for others and the link should be there, just let me know and I'll put it there. Okay. Other than that, something about me, I have my little tiny little shop which is on knittingilove.com and check it out, I, that's my also a project page under every finished object video you find a link to that page which will tell you about the bag, about the yarn and about a pattern if I used any pattern. So, And those finished object videos helps me with the show notes per se because I'll be showing you on the, and popping on the screen things that I'm talking about. Well. I'm hoping to do that. Okay, let's start. I do not wear any knitting related thing uh, today, but you probably have a sneak peek that Sebastian, my beloved husband, brought me something like this. Aren't I spoiled? Well, I don't drink coffee per se, but he come up with something hot, there is milk, there is some stuff, and there is a beautiful, beautiful chocolate, chocolate bits from the chocolate factory that we visited in County Clare, more precise Dulin, but that's more in, in the section what's off my heels, off my chest. Yummy. And I got a jelly too. <laughs> Who likes jelly? Okay, let's start. So first things first is a cow. We have annual cow, knit a hat cow, because I'm a hat addict. If you hear this, you probably won't. Let's ignore that. <laughs> motorbike, motorbike. Right, so I'm a hat addict. I'm a hat lover, I love hats. I think actually that I have that thing from my grandmother, from my father's side of the story, side of the family. She loved it, hats, but you know, those fancy ones, like, you know, not the woolly beauty things. She was a lady and she loved them so much. And maybe that's something that relates me to her. I presume so. So that's first thing. So that's why annual cal. If you're knitting, crocheting, any sizes, you can post there. I'll put a link down below in the timestamp cal underneath. You will have the link to Ravelry Group. If you're seeing that you need to sign in on login, please do. It's for free and you will see loads of beautiful, beautiful patterns for free, paid patterns. You will notice designers. You'll notice a big, big knitting community, which I'm encouraging you to go and see and meet. <laughs> right, let me check how many finished object hats we have. When we reach 1000, I'll be drawing a, a prize and then we will go to 1500 because I know you can do it. <laughs> okay, okay. 750 so far. So we're still not there yet. If you want to see what we are getting, I will show you quickly without even saying what's what. You will have all the links down below, so check it out. So those are our prices for a Knit a Hat Cal, so definitely go and join, spread the information. If you see someone knitting a hat, tell them about it. Okay, in the jar section. So in March we had winners, the girls from the Yarn Cafe, and I sent them prize. And normally what I do, I 
take a photo and put on Instagram to show you all what they pick and what they're going to get and go to their podcast, listen to them because normally, and this time I did that too, I send the set to uh, two podcasters because they're a mother and a daughter and a yarn dyers, both, and an extra set for their lucky viewers. So definitely it's worth it to check them out if you haven't done it so far. What in the jar section is about is about this little jar that I put podcasters in and which I try to watch. But at this stage, we have so many, but that way I'm just showing love and pointing out to you some amazing people that they love knitting and they're enjoying community and sharing stuff with you. Prizes from my shop and definitely check it out. This month, I'm adding one podcast, the Knitting Pace Podcast Ida. <coughs> And because this month is April and I haven't drawn anyone, so let's pick one podcast and see. I have podcasters over here that I put in like even two years ago. Okay. An amazing podcast in April 2018 is Hugh Loco. Oh! Congratulations! So if you don't know who Hugh Loco is, you may know her as um, Yarn Dyer, but uh, first time that I've um, met online, <laughs> Nicole, was when she started her podcast and she had her a few free tutorials, she probably still has them on her channel uh, about how to sew a bag and even I think how to dye yarn. So this is why Nicole ended up in my jar because she had a podcast. I definitely, I'm definitely still a subscriber, I should be anyway. Here is Nicole, as you can see. And yes, I am subscribed, but the last time she posted um, her episode was one year ago. She's a very busy dying yarn, so we shall see if she's even watching podcasts. Let her know she won one, she has a month to collect the prize. And what the prize is, Nicole, go to my shop, link down below and see what you like. I have pouches, I have markers, I don't sell yarn. <laughs> yarn dyer uh, but maybe you find something that you like and only what I do I also sneak peek an extra bit for a lucky viewer if you're not podcasting still that's fine I enjoy your 29 podcast episodes and uh, maybe you will find something to add to your Instagram giveaways or any lucky viewer Thing. So congratulations! Underneath down the below in the timestamps in the inner jar section you will find that link to the thread to Raverly when I have nominations and normally what I do I have a list of the winners and also we have information when which episode I put them into the jar and which episode I took them out of the jar. So Anyway, congratulations. Loads of talking, right? <coughs> check hashtag knitting I love pouches. Or check my Instagram feed, you get a clue. That was fun! Well, I'm so into knitting and stuff. Hopefully at the end of this video, we do have a section shop. So if you don't know what's in my shop, also check that bit. I'll be only talking, I think, about my new things. We shall see how it goes. Okay, let's start what's off my needles, what's off my chest. So first thing on the screen, what you can see what I did, I unboxed Knitcrate and that one was Knitcrate membership and I was so happy with the yarn that I received. I love the way that skein was uh, dyed up. Actually, I have some leftovers over here just in front of me. So the skein looks that there is a four sections of colors and so we, what you can do with it, you can just chop it off and use it for anything you like. Although this skein is a DK, so definitely not socks, but you can chop it off and use it as even just brims to your hats if you want to, because they're really nice colors, at least the ones that I got. I think overall there are four colors, Maybe on the screen I'll show you something, I'll sneak in something from Knitcrate on their website, hopefully they don't mind. So now those colors were, were available and I received this amazing green, guess why I love it so much. Anyway, so, and then I received another one which was Artisan Knitcrate and this one had amazing yarn which I caked and it's ready to roll. It's this amazing one and I have to, and I really want to knit something with it. We have 100 gram which is 170 meters, so overall I have 340 meters. I love it so much, I'm not going to give that one away because it's 100% British wool and 50% uh, blue face Le Leicester. 
Hopefully I said it right. 25% Wesseldale Longwool and 25% Masham. I don't know what those are, but here on the screen you can see it. More, check that video. I'll definitely leave a link down below. So yeah, what I can knit with it. I was looking for some patterns and I still haven't found one. There's a beautiful pattern included in that box because you're receiving, with the membership, you're receiving two patterns, which was crochet and another one knitted. With artisan, you're receiving two patterns and a goodie, well, a fun bit, um, and they both are knitted. And there is a really well, nice scarf. Uh, I know that Heather from Molly Elephant Podcast, she's knitting it, so check it out. Uh, definitely her next episode or even Instagram feed, so check it out. And there is another one, very triangular one with hearts and, well, at the end of the day, if I want to find it, I will knit that shawl. We shall see. Suggestions? Next thing, what was off my needles? My mom was visiting and we went to a few places and that video over here, a vlog, will show you what you can do in County Waterford. Um, well, anyway, we, we kind of passed through Apple Farm, which is a camping site, which I want to go this year, finger crossed, uh, but it's they have amazing shop. You can get some local uh, products, goodies, yummy things, anyway, juices and apples, strawberries, ketchup. Other than that, we went to see, to we went on the train, we went to some beautiful garden. Obviously I have some car knitting, so I'm putting some knitting in those videos, so check it out. You can see kind of working progress videos, snips between these episodes. The next one we went to see Eau Claire and we went to Dulin and over there we went on the beach, we went to a shop, we got some goodies, we were wearing my sis, so very very fun trip. I finished their socks that I will have, I finished after videos in a sec so I'll tell you about it. And I was wearing a few things that you may like too. And then I finished my hat, I have it over here which is this one. I love it so much. I call this one Scottish land hat and there is a spelling mistake, I'm telling you straight away. Not in the title, but when it pops it in. I just added one T and I know it should be two. Mm. But I love it so much, even though I did not do a jog over here. The yarn is amazing. So first things first, this is Irish Dyer from Fiona. Her brand is called Green Elephant. And over here we have two skeins mixed up together by using one row. And one is Trail Socks, not, not the name. I think it's Fleece Artist yarn. don't have anything over here, so I'm guessing. Anyway, finish up the video down below and I'm showing you all the yarn. And the grey one is um, Circusonic Handmade Australian wool. And with this wool, I'll be showing you in the finish up the video that I also used to knit an amazing, beautiful, long line cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. Um, so the link to that Hohi Locatelli thing, maybe down below too. Finger cross, I'll have it too. Um, so on the screen, then I'll know to put it. I love this hat. I'm going to write pattern. So if you're not following me on Instagram, hello over here, knitting I love. That's how it looks like. Link down below. So go and click because I think I'm going to write it down. I will not use test knitters. Be aware of many mistakes, but I will have it for free for let's say a week or two. And then when we pay for pattern, I'm going to post it on Instagram. Let's go wild and let's see what happens. Who's going to have amazing heart and point out errors to me and who will be annoyed and shout at me because they're errors. We shall see how it goes. Anyway, I love it so much. It's 130 stitches, but you in the pattern you can probably write you can, you will be able to um, cast them as many as you like. This is fingering weight hat, and I want more. And then I, voila, a knit crate asked me, would I want to receive another box? What I would say about sock crate membership, and I said, well, bring it over. So anyway, they sent me amazing box. This one is one skein, which is definitely fingering weight all the time. Not sure about color, colors. Do they have it one color and it's mixed? I haven't actually, my hair, ugh, I haven't actually checked that thing. And they will have also one pattern, one sock pattern. And that one I think costs 19 99 Anyway, in those videos, you will have all the information with the prizes. If not, there's always a link to check down below. 
and I'm knitting something. So I'm going to show you the yarn and stuff in my what's on my needle section. Now, then I knit in during my vlog, you know, the second I showed you CO Claire, uh, I was knitting socks for my niece, which actually she received and maybe a photo over here because I packed it really nice, I think. I'm so proud of myself, so I can share that with you. And she loved it so much. Once she opened up, she wanted to put on her feet, and she did, so I'm happy she enjoys them, and they fit perfectly. But I had a little bit hiccup because during the vlog, I finished those socks, and you can notice then, then I just opened a big hole in the toe. What's that about? So, they were too short and I had to have, uh, get them longer. So what I did, I did something similar to what I do with after, after thought heel and a video I have here underneath the, this uh, I'll put up, I call it how I do after thought heel and cut the yarn. Uh, so check it out. Quite similar, pick it up, stitches around, just make sure that you're going with the same direction. Otherwise you end up having one stitch slightly higher than the other and you know, all that stuff um so anyway i did that with one mistake whatever that is watch video and uh yeah and i knitted zigzagler socks by Susie white a free pattern and uh, the only thing what i did over that and do a twisted stitch i just did a normal knit stitch in that lovely river flow uh pattern which is zigzagler look what happened everything mixed. Okay, I love it so much and I know I hear that you love it too. I would knit the pair for myself too. I would not mind to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of a repeat that there are like three repeats that you just need to remember how many rows you use for, for how many things. Although even though I was knitting two at the time, I think I made maybe two mistakes and I had to do my ninja dropping stitch and pick up stitch the way it should be style. Um, so yeah, lovely pattern. And then I finished another hat, and that's actually a hat and the knit grey yarn. Oh, this one! So the link is down below to the finished object video, and under each finished object video, you will find a link to the pattern and yarn and information about the project. So yeah, do that. And it is lovely. So this is DK, but knitted on two, US 2.5. 3 millimeter needle because somehow I just took that uh, I don't know when did I start knitting it I just I ended up with those needles and I couldn't do anything and I said well what the heck let's start and I actually cut it with everything and I like the texture texture yeah texture and I like the texture and what I did I caked it up as you can see with one cake I used the middle part and then I just continue when I reach the body with the end on the outside and I love this beautiful color. So if you received uh, a yarn like this, I would be interested if you could knit something similar, have fun with it, and what kind of mixture of colors and hats you're going to get. I know that would mean that I have to write a pattern, but it's another one very quite, quite quick and easy to do. I may do that. It's quite similar to this one, although this one has a different decreases and obviously different number of stitches. Yeah, with this I use different number of stitches and I use the different degrees. Um, but the middle part is quite the same, although there is a different about a jog. This one doesn't have it, and this is the way normally when I start knitting, someone told me to do when you change color, to uh, cross the, the, in the back, so in the wrong side of your knitting strands, and you know, start knitting with the other one. But that shows that the lines are not lined up, and they're not really so nice, aren't they? Okay. So with this one, I kind of looked up how to do, and I do not know where I saw it, so I can't even refer to it. But basically, end of the day, you do not cross those strands. That's the beauty of it. And that's how quick the information is. Do not cross them. And then the only thing what you get, you will see it on the bottom, that they're not even on the bottom. Can I go closer? You see this? You'll get a dent. Well, I haven't blocked this, so maybe it will just go away. You will have just at the beginning a small step and apparently over here. But because I was doing the creases, you know, it's hard to say, is it? Beautiful, isn't it? Compare those two. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Look at this. Don't you think? Cross in the wrong side. Don't cross on the wrong side. So simple. So simple. And after a few, believe in yourself. You may not see that they're kind of lining up. Just go for it. I probably leafed at this point <laughs> that it is working. And that's it what was off my needles, off my chest. I tried to do those short videos just to help up 
to create this episode, my future episodes, and also in case someone refers to something that I have or I want to refer to during my vlogs because I'm wearing my stuff, because I love wearing knitwear, and you should too tag me if you're wearing something. Um, so yeah, it's a very good source for me and probably for you too to find a new things or to check what I knitted or what yarn I use if someone is asking me because I have such a short memory. Um, so if you're looking for to knit a hat, go to my playlist hats. Maybe you find something that you like. Um, if you want to look for shawls, go there. If you just want to knit free patterns, I have a playlist free patterns, which is a mixed message. It's mixing everything there. So check that one too. Maybe you'll find something that you haven't seen before and I knitted it. Obviously do not take completely for granted the thing that I, my finished object because I make some errors which I call personal touches um, that I make. So the actual shawl, hat or anything I knitted may look even better on the Ravenly page because I'm just a human. <laughs> now let's go with what's on my needle. Right, what's on my needles? And as you can notice, some things disappeared from there because basically this is my shelf of working progress. So it's always messy. Right, so what we're working on? My test knitters and some of their finished. Uh, they're working on my hat, test knit this hat, this hat, which I call a star hat because it has an amazing decrease. I love it so much. I wear it, I use it. Looks like this. Figuring weight. <sighs> love it. So design over here, it could be like a pine, pine trees or it could be like a crown. Depends on the season. Now let's leave it maybe on. So this going to be published soon and, and again I repeat myself, go follow my Instagram because once I publish this pattern it's going to be for free for 24 hours. Do you like it? Go for it. Follow. Okay, I haven't showed you, but I'm like in December I casted on something uh, that I wanted to match, and I it's kind of my project that um, I haven't touched since. <laughs> and it's this lovely hat. You may notice it over there, uh, which took over some leftovers that I had from my shawl that I knitted this, which is a dancing palm shawl by Lusten pattern by Lucina Rokowska, and I was knitting um, a hat, and I was using, I'm using amazing yarn that I received as a gift, but this one is actually Dragon Horde yarn, Tristan. Um, so yeah, what do you think? And I know why I don't knit on it. Why I don't knit on it? Because I need to, I need to get more high highs needles. I have few in my shop, but I don't want to steal from my shop. <laughs> um, so basically over here, what I have, I have Knit Pro, that's how I say it, and they're kind of the joint over here. I don't know. I'll do something like this. Just hear it. Look at it. It annoys me. So, um, so anyway, I need to get more of needles and I need to change it. That's why it's there. That's why it's there and reminds me to do something about it. There, you may find also a sock over that too because it has a hole and I meant to fix it like for the last five months anyway. So yeah, next. In March I received, yes, in March I received a yarn from Artisan Knit Crate and which is 100% certified organic cotton. And I have one skein over there, you can see in this purple thing. And I'm using the two over here. <laughs> I was knitting like crazy. I think it's just two days knit. It's very fluffy, it reminds me of um, I don't have it here. I was doing gardening today. If you're on Instagram, you know, and I was showing that go slow hat. This hat, so I put the link down below, which is my pattern, very cheap, go support. And uh, this is a uh, soft Donegal, so from Studio Donegal. But that one is Merino, and it's kind of the same way spun, let's say that way. It has a different feeling, obviously, because this is a cotton, and it's not kind of drapey cotton. It's more like those kind of, those cotton things for makeup and stuff, you know, for removing your things. At least you used to. <laughs> They're kind of fluffy bit. So yeah, any makeup lovers, you may know what I'm talking about. But here we have cotton and 
certified organic cotton and what am I knitting? I'm knitting a free pattern guys from Espastrico. I hope I'm saying it right. Melissa and Lisa, they have a podcast and they have a shop and they sell amazing yarn in Canada. So if you're from Canada, go check at their shop, online shop. They have loads of brands of yarns. They're looking for um, amazing makers. They're selling their stuff. But also what they do, they unravelly have their pattern zone and they design patterns and they have it all for free. So any pattern you check and you like, it's for free. So what I'm doing over here, I'm knitting Getting Warmer and I would classify it as a, a cowl with up till here. <laughs> So you start knitting down here and we'll be going up with some decreases and eventually you will have like a cowl going over here, like that. My sister said that she claimed this yarn because she loves everything that it's organic and she loves it so much. I hope she's going to love it anyway. I don't know how big it's going to be. They have just one size and I knitted uh, the number of stitches they ask in the pattern, although I don't have the size they're recommended. Sorry, I forgot that. But definitely when I finish it in the finished object video, I will double check and tell you because normally what I do, I also tell you in those finished object videos what size of needles and the pattern tells you to have and what kind actually I use and how I end up with it. I did not do a gauge. Uh, if you're asking me, I'm just flip forward to it. Flip forward, I think. I, anyway, I did it. I just cast it on. One thing about this yarn. Okay, I'm going to show you my pouch. So here is my pouch. This is Silent Forest, very color. And I'm not sure, can you see, I hope you do that fluff, blue fluff covered. Oh yeah, covers my pouch. This is a felted pouch. I'm using Amazing Bag, Handmade Bags by Diane. You can find it on Etsy. And just to show you, maybe if you're interested uh, what it is. So on the screen, first page of the label. And now check the screen for more information. So we have lagoon color, then we have, uh, this one is cobalt. So the first is cobalt, then it's lagoon. And over there, it, and over here we have ultraviolet. So I still have a bit over here. Let's put it in maybe. Yay! So that's one thing. Once I finish it, it's going to be a gift for my sister. And I know my niece watches my episode sometimes, so please don't tell her. I may give that to her. Chris, no, birthday, 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 maybe, I'll finish. You may notice this bag, and this is a Mrs. Barron's bags. I received this bag as a gift from a viewer, from CJ, thank you so much, I'm using it. And it's occupied by a hat that I started knitting, oh my, in, in uh, November 2017. It's just, I have horrible needles on them over here. Remember one time I bought very cheap Amazon needles. Oh, the sun is shining. So yeah, I need to sw swap it and that's why I'm not, not knitting on it. It's my design. I have it written down. So slow, we're getting there. And here we have green elephant yarns. Both of them, one I took from a mini set that I got and the other one I got a skein during my holidays. And the one, it's beautiful. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. So on the screen you can see it, how beautiful it is. I want to really finish this hat. So that's why I'm showing you. So I don't want this to be my whip for a few years. And here is a Fiona's label, which is Green Elephant Hand Dye Yarns. And then over here you have a name of it. Uh, so read it please. Shockwave. Shockwave. 75%, 25%, we have support merino and nylon. 425 meters, so it's slightly thinner than usual. Yes, than usual sock yarn. So fingering weight yarn. Ah, so yeah. And my keychain hat. So hopefully, finger crossed, motivate me on Instagram because I know you're active over there too. Now, no. Okay, let's leave my cardigan at the end, please, okay? Right, so let's move on to this. What do I have in here? I definitely have socks, because it says socks. I definitely have socks. I've actually two pairs of socks on my needles. And I've got information from Grace that she has a parcel for me from a viewer uh, that she sent a bit to her and she, she sent some gift to me. Um, what I got, I'll show you. I got a few bits, but I'm using this amazing pouch. I'm keeping it my battery from my camera. And once I saw the 
uh, amazing yarn that I received. I pass it on. <laughs> I couldn't resist. So what do we have over here? We have Patan Scroy sock yarn. Do you have this color? I know loads of people have uh, a color like this, especially in Canada. And then my lovely Americans, do you have a uh, Patan Scroy in America? Is it German company anyway? <laughs> Right, the color is 55615, just to be more precise. On the label, you do have um, sock, but I don't think that's the color. It just shows something. And because I do not cast on 64 stitches, well, I'm not, not going into 64 stitches, I do 50, uh, 56 stitches, because I want to wear these socks, um, you may not see the pattern perfectly. So I apologize for that. Oh my, it shows beautiful color, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, so what do I have? Like I said, US size one to 2.25 millimeter needles. That's the only needles I use for knit, to knit socks. And these are fixed. And I would swap them for interchangeables because they're, you know, the, the cable kind of twists and may annoy you. Although I have these for last two years, I would say. So oh, maybe I shouldn't be so harsh on them. Amazing, quite matching uh, knitting I love pouch. You can find it in my shop, link down below if you're interested. This is Flower Power and stays. So it's kind of my design that it's can go crazy and it stays. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I love to knit two at a time. And over here, I did a different toe because my friend, Diane, she said, let's go for it. There's three pattern, uh, it, which is called square toe. Um, and I do a square toe. How crazy is that? And I did some stitch marker, progress keepers for myself. So as you can see, the creases are just here. And I think it's so cute. Well, anyway, we shall see. I want to finish it, I want to wear it, and I'll tell you the truth. Well, I made it, so it may not be completely honest opinion. <laughs> or not honest, what's the word? I had to form with my card. Anyway, I think I finished, I think I said everything about the socks at the moment. Uh, so definitely in the future we're going to see my finished object video. So subscribe, like, follow me, let's have fun together. Anyway, do you like Patton Scroy? I love it. It's kind of thicker yarn, and if you check it, they say you have 28 stitches uh, for, or on, I don't know how to say it, 4 inches, 10 centimeters. If you do a gauge, normally you have 22 stitches, so it's a little bit thicker. And I still use uh, my US size 1, 2.25 millimeter needles, because it's kind of more sturdy, and it's more sturdy and... Nothing happens if you can wear and tear these socks. So I'm very, very happy with them. Thank you so much. And they're beautiful color. It, the color is just amazing. Just read my mind. <sighs> and each time I open this amazing bag, I think about Vicky. Vicky is from Devixa Designs. She has her own podcast. She sent me once a lovely uh, kind of a friendship package. And I don't know. I think about you all the time. I hope you're watching anyway. If you don't know who Vicky is, she designed an amazing show which I took to Edinburgh Young Festival. Is that my huge, beautiful, reversible shawl, so close shawl. Check it out. My bag. I sewn this bag myself with toast two hands. And we have over here socks. And this is the yarn I received in Knit Crate, no, Sock Crate membership box, unboxing. And I could not figure out what to knit with it. Shell socks or hats? And you were posting. First, everyone was saying, yeah, go for a hat. Then some people said socks. And there were a few comments that I could actually do both. And I was thinking, eh, yeah, true, I ha can. So I'm planning to do that. Although, I'll start with socks. So first things first, what I had to do, I had to cake this beauty. So uh, I do amazing cake and I'm working two at a time with both ends. And I don't use any buttons because I found them very wobbly, the kind of twists and everything like that. At the end of the day, what I need to do, I just need to twist the whole socks if I want to untangle. Now, can you see it? This mess. It's not that bad. Uh, so normally what I do, I put the cake down and I just twist my knitting whichever way I have to. Yeah, just to figure out. So what do we have over here? We have socks. So now, 
about the yarn. This is my first time ever knitting with Stellina yarn. Well, the content is in Stellina, so that's why it's so sparkly. I have received a two skeins from Knit Trade membership, I think in March, and they're so beautiful, so nice, so I kept it over there. Do you see that pink there? I don't know, can you see it? But with these, I just had to cast them on. And because it is a sock box, I thought, let's start with socks. So that's why I'm going to, from two ends. I haven't divided it because whatever I have will have here left, I will knit hat. And what do we have over here? Okay, I'm messing with the, with the pattern. Well, pattern. I don't follow any pattern. I just do things. So normally what I do when I design, you know, I'm using this thing. This is like a bullet journal thing. It's not really. It's like a, okay, I actually, it's like with the small dots. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it now. So it's a dotted one. This one is, I always forget the name. This thing, this thing, you see this? Um, and I normally buy one pair a year, although <laughs> I'm kind of almost at the end. So normally from the beginning, I have some ooh, like calendar, some notes, some ideas, some, for instance, we have my, um, episodes information. From the other side, I have my knitting projects or designs or something that I write. And sometimes I like to pull out a page, most of it from my old ones, and use those dots as kind of um, a draft for charts. So this is what I, so this is what I do on this little piece of paper. <laughs> on one side I have right sock, on the on this side I have a left sock. Um, and I'm using some tape over here, just for fun, that I received, why not? Um, and I'm knitting a small design piece on the socks. So maybe I'll show you first things about yarn. So this is the one, and here is more information on the back, how much a percentage you have with this and this, what name it is. Garnet, I would say that's how you call it. This is a shimmer, so the base is called shimmer because we have a 10% stelina, 20% nylon, and 70% superwash merino. And I love knitting. When I started, I felt like you know we're in the fairyland. So if you haven't knitted it, please do. In regards to the toe, I did different toe than I normally do. I normally do not normally do. Well, I did this toe like a half year ago, so you may notice it. So I did that one more time. I don't know. I'm experimenting with toes and here is my I'll show you why not I'm not a designer with a capital D anyway so so here it is a bit we're doing something we're changing something and I think we're going to change something again because why not <laughs> make it interesting oh and there will be shorties so I can use them during the summer and the sun will be shining I'm moving my feet and it's not so cold sometimes over here it's not so warm, sorry, uh, over here, so it should be beautiful piece. Anyway, at home it's always cold. I live in a cave. And here is how it looks like. Oh, yeah, 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 see this? Yeah, check it out. Beautiful. And here again, I have sharps, US size one, 2.25 millimeters on the long one. So it's 100 centimeters, which is 40 inches, and then it's a fixed scale. The same thing, I bought this one with the other one at the same, kind of at the same time. And yeah, almost two years, I would say. So they're fine, no problems whatsoever. And um, these socks are for me. So, you know, I don't have my uh, Christmas pouch I don't have any gift knitting at the moment on my needles. Well, I have that getting warmer cowl. That's how you call it. Tunic? No, that's not tunic. So anyway, I'm enjoying it so much. Car knitting. Hello. Are you ready for this bed? Are you ready for this bed boy? So what do we have over here? Sweater. No, it's a cardigan. <laughs> I'm at the beginning to start sleeves. I haven't started yet because we were going everywhere, like here and there. Check my stories on Instagram because I like to share. Over here we have a bundle of joy and, and needles are here. So here are my needles and these are interchangeable ones. Okay, my pouch, this is Simon Forest, Café Chocolate. And here is the High Highs, which is 3.5 millimeters, which is US size 
four, I presume, and they're interchangeable so that you can take them off, you can take the tips off and use it for something else. And this is my base, although the pattern tells you to use four millimeters, which is US size six. Um, but I got the gauge on these. Yes, I did a swatch. Yes, I did a swatch. It's hanging over there. We have 13 pages pattern and this is Bob. Bob? I think it's French word. Bob? Cardigan? Okay, I can show you this. But the designer herself is over here. I think she's green. Now the battery. <sighs> now the battery. Yarn. Maybe start with yarn. So yarn I'm using is a poon Po drops Puna and I got it I think two years ago or like the uh, Christmas before last Christmas <laughs> previous Christmas previous previous Christmas and I wanted to use it I did a sample of you know two colors or three colors so I ended up with five colors I wasn't sure what I'm going to do so I did this and I mixed it so here it is this is 100% alpaca and everyone is telling me that alpaca stretches so finger cross for that because I'm going to put it on. So the pattern, it's one piece pattern. The designer loves to play with things that it's seamless. That's the word, seamless, seamless knitting. So uh, let's put it on. Right. So we start from the top over here and it divides to a few sections. And you have written instructions, and like I said previous episode, you have a kind of not a chart but a draft, like a table, what you need to do. Although I was thinking to follow written instructions, uh, I thought at least that there was an option, but you do not have option. Read carefully what you need to do. According to the pattern, you have to follow the draft because um, but but in written instructions you will know what to do and kind of between that stage when you have to start you have to figure out what it's what and I'll tell you more about that in the finished object video when I finish this uh, cardigan because we had a discussion with my friends for like two hours <laughs> <laughs> anyway so kind of figure it out and uh, why I figure it out because I was knitting with the written instructions for like a bit and then I had to frog because then I was why I have well, why I just knitted round let's say 17 and I'm straight away on 23 where is the between I checked the draft and there's like Oh yeah, there are things in the written instruction that are missing. No, there are things in the chart that are... No. There are things in the written instruction that are... There are no. There are things in the draft that are missing from the written instructions. And then when you do even the draft, at the end they say there are some things in the written instructions that you do not have in the draft. So it's a little bit messy. <laughs> at least for me. Probably... Whoever is more advanced than me will be just flying through it, but it was a little bit, you know, confusing for me. But the pattern was a gift, and I love gifts, and I love um, when people are gifting things for each other. And uh, I think the main thing of it is for people to use stuff. That's why whatever I get, I'll try to use it from whoever that is. <laughs> so anyway, um, as you can see, this is uh, you're knitting everything together, and it goes down. And it goes down as far as, oh my, as far as here, <laughs> my bump. That was scary, my chair was moving and it's on the wheels. So anyway, um, so this is how it looks. I think it's amazing. I'm going to have sleeves, but I'm thinking to have them on the up till here. We shall see. And now, that's the wrong side. That These are my pockets and I still have to sew them. Because as you can see, I can put a hand over here. I hope I put it in the right way. So we have, I put stitches on hold on the scrap of yarn that I had at that point. Um, so there will be some a beautiful ending and I don't know how to do it, but there are like photos. There are like a three pages of photos, what you need to do in case you don't know how to do things. Um, one thing, I took stitch markers and the pattern was telling me to knit to stitch marker. So my placing of my, what you call it, pockets here, should start where the hand, when this piece, the hand band, oh, neck band, neck bank starts. So one side I got it straight away because you're knit to a certain stage and you start, but then you knit the middle and then you have to figure out where to start so it ends up that way. So I think I'm a little bit off, but who cares? Right, and here are pockets and they're 
very tiny for me. They will be very tiny and we shall see how it goes, but they kind of open up. But even if they open up, look how beautiful my inside is. Don't you think? And it waves a bit. That's eye, eye cord edge. Overall, I love it. And I don't know, I have something, something going on with me and cardigans anyway. What do you think? And I would have knitted on it, but I wanted to really show you in this stage without me going with the needles when I start my sleeves. Um, I'm start, I'm thinking, should I, should I knit one sleeve at a time or should I knit two at a time, like two at a time socks? Love it. And it smells amazing. Time for sleeves. And I have in mind at least like three sweaters that I want to knit. <laughs> Even four. Even more. So I think I will have all the time some 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 kind of sweater on my needles. <sighs> I hope I didn't take loads of time. Let's move on. A giveaway! Right, so the last episode, episode 54, we had um, 6,000 subscribers giveaway. So thank you so much for subscribing and I loved listening to your comments. At this point when I'm recording, I haven't drawn a winner yet, but I will be doing that while I'm editing. So let me show you first what the winner is going to get, and then I'm going to place on this lovely, amazing thing over here who won. For a giveaway, we have uh, this amazing yarn. I have a skein like this in my stash because this is from a knit crate, Knitology. And it has 60% super wa uh, sorry, 60% merino wool, 20% nylon, 20% alpaca fingering weight. So if you have something like this in your in your stash and uh, you knit something with it, or you want to knit something with it, um, stay tuned. If you knit it, tag me, show me what you what you've been knitting. But if you tag, I may not see that tag. No, I probably see. Yeah. So tag me on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, or let me know down below what did you knit with it, so I can check how it knits up, and whoever wins it, if you knit something with it, let me know, we may knit it together. That was a fingering! This one is worsted, a hundred ravens. I actually design a free pattern, I call them, you see, on the screen, um, mittens, mittens, fingering with mittens. Very simple pattern, raven's wing, again, I receive this skein with the one of the knit grey boxes, I used the other one. So here it is, beautiful. Then I'm adding something from my shop. Used to I had in my shop and I found these little beauties. Um, that's DPN holder or you can use it for your hooks. I use that for hooks. I'm not really a DPN fellow knitter and I have some DPN needles and I'm thinking what to do with them because I don't use them, so right. You have some tags over here, which are felted slightly thicker. Um, I have the beautiful one also in the shop, which you can use for holding your progress keepers and putting them in the bags. And you have over here a coaster, which is also a size needle uh, checker in millimeters. So I hope you like this. And I'm gifting one of my keychains, pulley store your project bags, and this one is must knit. So you can put it on anything that you must knit. And I'm adding two different, two different types of um, tags that you can sew to your project. These are um, from Alcantana, Alcantara. It's a fabric, very soft, and this is felt. Here a color, they're slightly thicker over here. They're very good for hats. And new thing in the shop, I have a fake sweet, sweet, let's show you. I'll write it on the screen anyway when I'll be showing the thing. But I'm giving these, these two sets. So I hope you enjoy this. And the winner is on the screen now. Thank you so much for sharing everyone. Congratulations to the winner. Please get in touch with me. Um, send me a message on Instagram or Reverly, or you can use my link, email, which is info at knittingilove.com. And anyone who wants to contact with me, please use that email. Um, I love getting feedback from you. In regards to my podcast, my finished object videos, some errors or good things about my patterns, some people are sending me finished objects uh, with a photo of how they did my hat and this just melts my heart. Um, and yeah, you can also use that link if you want to donate something to the podcast. 
really love it. Now we have a pattern to give. So I have something to give to you. And it's nothing from me, it's from a viewer. So I'm a designer. So in this episode 55, the pattern for giveaway is Mountain Top. And here it is on the screen. And the designer is Anti Marta Studio. It's a bulky hat. I have I haven't knitted it. Um, I need to check my stash that I have a bulky hat, but I'm tempted to knit it too because I have a copy of this pattern. So we can knit it together. So maybe that will push me to knit it with a winner. So don't forget to leave the comment down below. And normally what I have, I have a question for you just to help you up, but not only, you do not have to answer to that question. You can suggest anything, tell me that I look good in the hats, that'd be fine too. <laughs> Um, but I have an amazing book that helps me to kind of keep on rolling. 99 things that bring me joy. That's why I'm so happy. So let's open up. Ooh. So here it is. Music you love. So now, I know it will sound a little bit weird, but I do not listen to music. I know. Well, I'm not the type of person who would have always a playlist to listen to or things. I sometimes have a mood that I want to listen to music. And if I pick to listen to music because I believe that whatever we read or whatever we listen to or whatever we watch, we kind of became that thing. So I want to have it more cheerful, bright, happy, funky, uh, something to bright up the day. And even if you down, it will make you to dance. Yeah, because oh, I don't want to put myself into the thing that if I'm not in the mood, I will start listening to not in the mood music, some going calm or drama or anything like that. It will just dig me down even more. I don't know, do you have the same thing? But, you know, I'm old enough that I've read at books about staying positive from perspective don't kick yourself up in your ass <laughs> don't say bad stuff about yourself even though we all do that we all are our worst enemies quoting some books <laughs> yeah uh, not to do this and uh, when i cut myself doing something like this i try to think what i can do uh, differently and, um, well, you know, scientists or do not lie most of the time, especially relates to the sociology and how human behaves and all the commercials and everything like that. It's especially designed for us to do certain things. And I'd be probably the first person who'll be doing that anyway. <laughs> Follow the crowd. Even though, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll try to be more in the moment, focus and try to take a few breaths and think what I want to do and think what I feel that way and think is there any other thing that I can help myself to bring myself up so musing would be one of those things uh, but I do not overuse it like I do not overusing drinking coffee uh, it's something that spice up my life that it's something that I feel is a gift a privilege and uh, that it's not a common thing in my life because then I would not have anything to reach for in case I want to celebrate um, I want to yeah, be happy I don't know tell me do you think the same way and you can write loads of stuff if you want to open up share a bit I'll do but on that you can write down the music you like and um, okay spice things up a little bit that question do I and if that's too much for you just write down what country you live in what you like to knit what you have on your needles anything that we do normally during the episode what I do normally during the episode I want to know that too so please share please write it down and I loved your comment we had 127 comments under the last episode uh, by we, it's, it's I. <laughs> I don't know why I say we. Um, so I'm really grateful for that because I know you're there. It's so cool. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for this book. That was also a gift. And I see, see I'm using it. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Martha, for an amazing pattern. And that's her first pattern. So definitely go on Reverly and follow designer because you can also like designer. And if designer brings a new pattern in the future, you will have it on your kind of a first thing, pattern, highlights, things. That's what I do. Right, shop. I normally so bad in regards showing you guys what's in my shop. And today I wanted to change that. I know it's episode 55, so I think it's a time <laughs> to do it. Anyway, as you can see, I use my 
uh, pouches and I love them so much that's why I designed them to, for myself only um, but then I thought you know it's a really cool and light idea to send as a gift um, so post is cheap so I find that too and then you were saying that you would want to get that too so I have a bit here and there in my shop I have a really little shop and my updates are from here and there but most of the time you'll find them in my shop so no worries. Follow my Instagram because from time to time I do some 48 hours, 24 hours discount codes. Um, as I said about my patterns do, um, so definitely go on Instagram. I'm there all the time. Let's show you what's in my shop. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that every episode because um, I'll be updating my shop with my pouches and normally when I do that I pack them and then I have them stored to be packed, to be sent uh, to their new owners. So today is your lucky day. I haven't packed them yet and I have them here. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm such a bad businesswoman. <laughs> So here is my first pouch that I designed. That was an ages ago, and if you remember, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking in with me. So here they are. First, what I put up up there was my, I think two or four colors, was orange, let me see, was orange, I don't think half a chocolate came in later, lavender and green. And then I brought up blue, pink, half a chocolate, and then berry. So we have a lovely, if someone is a pink color addict, here's my lovely pink selection. I love them so much. This is Flower Power and I designed them in 2016. I love them so much. And I was looking for something for circular knitting knitters to have a pouch that will work. Uh, first, I just wanted to use them as my storage area. <laughs> kind of here but then I figured out that you can actually use them while you're knitting them and there are a few things you do with them so check my Instagram and if you even fancy check and hash, hashtag knitting I love a video and I'm showing from time to time you know what I do with my socks what I do with my shells what I do with my sweater um so here this was my my beloved pouch so in regards shop you can go on it link down below you have a price with the VAT included but then uh, in the kind of first page shop you will have um, that uh, what's the price without VAT because people from outside European Union are not allowed to charge VAT for you <laughs> so you're getting 23% discount because Ireland VAT is 23% 23, right. But then I thought that it would be very bad if I want to design something for DPN lovers. And I went with a Flower Power collection, the same colors uh, with a DPN option. And here they are. I wanted something different that it's um, out there. I did research on Etsy, so make sure that no one has something that I want to design. I was very sure that no one has this. <laughs> um, but with these, I wanted for the podcast, in case I'll be using DPNs, I did use them a few times. I have knit rows uh, that you don't have to take it out of the pouch to show even one or two rows. And they, they look beautifully on the photos on Instagram. Um, so you don't have to bother. <laughs> so here are how they look. And because they're, they're felted, the material is sturdy. In, in 2018, I designed a different design on the pouches. Sorry, 2017, I designed different uh, design on the pouch and I call this one Silent Forest over here. And I have them in all those colors, as I mentioned. I love them so much. Again, I need to record those videos. One day you may notice if you're a subscriber that one day I will record short videos that I can include on them on my website under the products how to use these pouches but at the moment I will refer you to the link down below which I call hashtag knitting I love video I'll put it down there my shop timestamp check it out if you're interested and then obviously I went with the DPNs look like this um, before I designed this with a with a clip I put um elastic band around but I heard that you all love to hear this <laughs> so I did that. So what do you do? You slide needles in, put the needles over here and clip it. And that's also kind of my way to um, 
support my little shop, support my podcast, support the giveaways and all the fun that we have over here. So thank you so much for who, whoever since 2016, yes, purchased anything from my shop. I'm so grateful. More. You can also find some knitting coasters. I just took it from this knitting coasters and I only have them in the Flower Power collection. Five colors. In 2017, yes, 2017, not 2018, I designed keychains. So I have loads of keychains, keychains, so pulley steer project bags um, with a hat, mittens, socks, sweater, toy for a baby, must knit, happy knitter, loads, loads, loads. So check them out if you're interested to have something. As you can see, I also use them for like holding stitch marker, progress keepers. With the felt, first I went with the felted tags and we have 16 shape, shapes. So you can check it out. Maybe you find something that you like. They're slightly thicker, they're three millimeters. And then lately in 2018, I discovered uh, Alcantara, so a fabric. And I Put, put in my shop these. So you have for 2018, you have star, heart, sheep, sheep, heart. What I do with my knitworthy, I call these with the year, um, I put them on my Hummel sweater and I put them the wrong side. So that way I know because I have a bad memory. When do I knit things? Because I knit quite a lot of things. But the channel also helps me to keep a track on it. But if you do not have a channel, that also will help you out. I've been asked, will I, would, you, would I be able to make 2017, 2016? Because you already knitted some garments and you want to put them on. Well, if I hear more people asking for these, I will put them in the shop. So let me know. I will though, I will have to just pick one color, so. Maybe gray, everything, everyone likes the gray. What else I have? Then I have love wool tags. So as you can see, and this is love wool tags and they're perfect for hats because that will flip if you flip the hat. And for, some would work with a color even here or definitely for the bottom of your sweater. But um, I put this, for instance, on my home cumulus sweater and the heart end up upside down when I put it over here. So now in the shop, you can find tags, which I called for a color. So if you basically put the washing, hand wash icon inside the sweater and you flip your heart, the heart, ooh, the heart will be properly situated on your back. So these two you can buy. I have it only in the gray color. On the floor set, love wool tags. I have it in the cafe chocolate and the pink color. Well, the pink, it's more like a berry color. Right, but then I found a different fabric, which is a fake suit, 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 suit on the screen. And I have in the shop, I call it random hearts. So maybe over here I'm going to show you um, a footage that I posted on Instagram stories. I have these hearts. They're exactly the same height and width as my felted ones. They have a different colors and I sell these in fives, but they're random colors. So you never know what you're going to get, but look how beautiful they are. Yeah, so that's something new and exciting. And I know people are asking me in regards to yarn. I sold one skein, I think a few weeks ago, and it was only because I dyed a bit for myself and I have one skein left. And I was thinking that it'd be really cool and fun if I dye one more and put it in the shop. And if someone's buy it, it'll be amazing. Not from perspective, I'm going to be a, like a hand dyed dyer, hand dyed yarn dyer, but just from perspective that I dyed something for a friend. So I love it. I'm not sure will I dye yarn, but I got uh, Aran weight, 100% merino, and I'm going to dye something with it. I'm going to knit something. And if I have like 100 grams uh, leftovers, I may, may not put it into the shop, but that's very, very, a very, a very, a very far future. <laughs> Definitely. I think I have more fun designing hats than dyeing yarn. 
just to be sure. But never say never. And I think that's all. Uh, obviously, you can find higher, higher needles in my shop. Maybe it's not obviously, but I have a bit. I do not have a lot, uh, but it always brings my heart if someone picks something from it too. And I love higher, higher sharp. So that's the only tips I have there because putting more sizes in the shop requires more funds, money to buy things to have in your shop. And because I'm a little, little tiny thing, um, I'm enjoying every, every order that you make and put so much love into it okay i think that's all in regards to my shop i hope you enjoyed this one and check it out browse it through even if you're not planning to buy anything go and have fun watching it and tell me what you like i follow me on instagram definitely i'm also on facebook i'm posting things there too uh, if you like facebook more and yeah keep your eyes peeled because i may do giveaways from time to time and you may find something that you like I think that's all I wanted to say. I may have few news in the future, like a, if you want to be up to date with everything on the day, I would say follow me on Instagram. Or wait over here, subscribe, and I will tell you all personally about it. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Don't forget to subscribe, give me that like, because that will help me to reach more friends. Friends who knit, crochet, love the yarn as much as I do, and share that love because giveaways here and there, some people could be lucky to receive something they've never received before, or they may win for the first time, and that's a brilliant um, experience and feeling too. Please share what you're knitting, what you have in your needles, use hashtag knitting I love, tag me on Instagram, tell same hello, suggest a pattern, or if you see yarn that I'm showing and I don't have a clue what to knit with it, please help me out and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!